Hi everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, it's been a week. <laughs> if you um, didn't know, I had a Facebook, a li or a Facebook Live sale for the month of February was last Sunday. And it was St. Patrick's Day themed, green themed, and um, it was really good. I feel like it went really well. I had Lori and Vicki both here helping me, and it made things go pretty smoothly. We had 50 items, and it took us about an hour. I think we might cut down the number a little bit because it went a little longer than I wanted it to go, but I think it was good. Um, and we had those items. We put those items up in a folder, in an um, album on Facebook that you could buy from after the sale. And I sold something after the sale, so that was good. Uh, we had a, if you watched our social media, we had a jar of corks I posted last week. And it was, you were supposed to guess the number of corks and then bring your guests to the live sale. And Samantha, our friend Samantha Pratt from Sorting with Samantha, won with the exact number of corks. It was 41 corks. Um, I'll tell you a funny story. If you look at the social media, you'll see the jar had a lid on it and there was actually a cork in the lid. And I was, I had just taken the picture and it was, everything was great to post on social. And I went to move the jar and the lid just flew off the jar and dropped to the ground and broke into smithereens. So the jar I showed during the live did not have a lid on it, but it was the same number, number of corks in it. So I was very frustrated by that because I really loved that jar. <laughs> I was upset about losing the lid. It was un ungluable. It was millions of tiny little pieces of glass all over the basement floor, which is concrete, so it shattered. Anyway, so sad, so sad. <laughs> so um, we, I, have, I feel like I've been working nonstop since January 1st. I have been spending, working pretty much 24 seven, except when I've been trying to sleep and I haven't been sleeping, which is a whole nother story. But um, since I hired um, someone to help me with the photography, uh, I hired Vicki, and you can check our website and go to our Meet Our Team section and see who, who works for us um, now, works with me. I, since we hired Vicki, Vicki's been here the last four weekends in a row, and I've been working all weekend with her, help, you know, photographing items and processing the photographs and things like that. And I always work on the weekends, but it's been long hours. And we especially worked hard last weekend getting ready for the sale. Just to give you an example, in a normal month before pre Vicky, <laughs> Lori and I would list about 100 items a month would be a good month. That'd be a really good month if we made it to 100. In January, we only did like 85. But in February, we did 165. And it's just crazy. I mean, the number of listings every day is just really going up. And so on the weekend, it was the last weekend in February, and we'd already had, had enough ready to list to take us through the end of February. So everything we photographed this past weekend was gonna be listed in March by the time we processed through the whole process. So Vicki photographed 113 items for March already on the last week of February. So <laughs> if she was going to be working every weekend in March, we would just, it would be record numbers. I mean, we're flying through my inventory room like crazy. Like I've never been afraid of running out of inventory because I've always had such a huge pile that I knew I would never get through. And we are making it through that pile so fast that I'm kind of getting a little bit concerned about getting more <laughs> getting more consignments in and I've never been like that ever so that's good it's really good and um, a little scary but I'm sure that the consignments will come and by the way just to let you know even if you don't live here like near us you can ship me stuff to sell for you and I'll sell it so if you want to pack a box and send it to me I'll take it <laughs> Um, what else? So, oh, the things that we're, that we, um, that we sold in the live sale, we, all the St. Patrick's Day items just got listed on our eBay store last night. 
So if you check that, we have a whole bunch of really cool St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, so you can let the shenanigans begin. <laughs> there's a, a shirt that says that, and there's a flask that says that. If you really want to get into some shenanigans, you can fill your flask and take that with you. Uh, there's a whole bunch of neat stuff. We had some princess gnomes. One of them sold. The other one just got listed. So it's really cool. I, I'm still selling Barbies. I'm still selling Funko Pops. There's all sorts of stuff on there. And of course, clothes all the time. Uh, so St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. So get busy. You know, you get your stuff. <laughs> I wanted to share, since it's Feedback Friday, I wanted to share some feedback with you that I recently got. And I thought I would read it to you. I might post it later in this in social media, but I thought I'd read it. It says, Tiffany, thank you for the pattern. This was a sewing pattern I sold her. I was so very pleased with it and was very impressed with the attention to the detail of the packaging. I have never received an item that was gift wrapped with a ribbon and loved the note of thanks on the postcard. Opening the item made my day. I hope to purchase from you again and thank you for such a pleasant transaction. I love that. I love stuff like that and this is why I do that. This is why it's so important to me to wrap every order like a gift to a friend because I love to take, put that personal touch in there, you know, hand write a post, the postcard, you know, to address it to the person. I just think it's so important and not a lot of sellers are out there doing that. And I just think that that's one way to make, make me stand out. And I really love it. And I would do it anyway, even if everybody was doing it. I mean, I just love it. I just think it's very important. And I would love to receive something like that when I buy something. So I just know that um, I love to get some feedback though, telling me that people are appreciating it. All my eBay comments, most of them mention the packaging. And so that's just really makes, makes my day. It makes my heart very, very full. Um, I did mention earlier that I haven't been sleeping well and I've been exhausted in how hard we worked this weekend. So I took the last two days off from social media posts. If you notice, there was no social media posts for Tiffany's Treasures and Trinkets on Wednesday and Thursday because I just needed a break. Sometimes you just need a break and it's good to just do what you need to do to recharge your, your brain and your body. And um, so I did, so I just took a break. I also wanted to talk about the reason, some of the part, part of the reason I've been working so hard, there's a lot of reasons I've been working so hard, but this, um, at the beginning of the year, or maybe it was the end of December 31st or something, I did a, I was on the consignment chats, uh, sellers new year's resolutions, you know, podcast or whatever. And I announced that I was going to be, I had three goals, three business goals for the year. And most of them would occur in the first two months. Well, all three of them should have occurred in the first two months, but I'm going to show you what, tell you what I did. One of them was the website, check. One of them was my mission statement, check. The other one was getting my contract in place and getting it out to my consigners. I haven't done that one yet. So, um, Vicki's not, my photographer, Vicki, is not coming this weekend. And my mom was going to come stay here this weekend instead, but now she's not coming. So, I think it gives me a good opportunity to just work on the contract and relax a bit. I was actually going to take time this weekend to not work as hard as I have been every all the other past weekends since the beginning of the year. And on a personal note, at the beginning of the year, um, my husband and I both went on a diet. And it's sort of keto, but it's not full keto. It's just low carb, just basically a low carb diet. And I'm going to tell you people, women, women, do not go on a diet at the same time as your spouse, your husband, or any other man, and try to compare your weight loss to his. Mm -mm. I mean, I have lost six pounds. He has lost 26 pounds. And we're, and he's cheating, and I'm not. It's very frustrating, very frustrating. And I think, I don't know if it has something to do with my, my lack of sleep or if my sleep is, lack of sleep is a byproduct of that, the diet. I don't know what's going on, but it's not pleasant. 
So that was it. Um, I think that's about all I have for you today. I do want to say that um, there, <laughs> Easter stuff's coming next. We have so much Easter stuff. The sale at the end of this month of March will be Easter related and the color theme will be pastels. So a lot of that stuff is, is we're working on that stuff. Um, there's just, I mean, you really have to check the store daily because there's at least 10 items going up every day. So it's crazy, um, but I love it. And I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you guys are going to take some time to do something for yourself or something relaxing this weekend. Let me know what your weekend's are, plans are in the comments. And I will see you next Friday. Bye.